I look at Gade's world record. It's not gonna. It doesn't have the same reverence, and I don't, I don't know if she would have broken it before. But it, it strikes me as one of the most irrelevant world records in the sense that who is going to be scared of Gade when she shows up in the Olympics in the five thousand? It's not going to be Safan Hassan. It's not going to be Helen O'Beary. I just don't think, and I don't know if it's credit to this just being a perfect atmosphere to break a world record. If it was what you said, Tiranesh Dababa's 14-11, despite the fact that it survived for 12 years, it was weak. Yeah. And maybe that's to do with the fact that there weren't a lot of attempts. But this yeah, doesn't not. Like, there, this doesn't carry any reverence when you come to the championship level. N no one is scared of her because she doesn't have a kick. So to me, that tells me if a world record holder is, is not striking the fear in, in her opponents – then I think she got some considerable assistance from this wave light technology to which, no, to which no, a no. point. Yes. No, are you, no, no. are you, are means, you think, is Gade a work? No, is it, she a, is she a gold medal threat now? Or is she a gold medal favorite now? No, but she's playing to her strengths. Chalimo brought this up in the, before we even started, she's a grinder. He said she doesn't have a good close, but that doesn't yeah. mean she can't hold the world record. There's nothing yeah. against then to that fact. Mo Farah's best time in the 5,000 was, Never near the all-time list, but he was good yeah. in those championship races. I think what, what you do, and I, I do this to a certain extent too, so I'm not just saying this is you, but we hold these old records out as these bastions of running uh, immortality that can never be touched because names like Bekele and Dababa are on there. And we don't think for a second that in... 15 or 20 years, people are going to say the same thing about Cheptegei or the same thing about Gide, who, by the way, is only 22 years old. So she could develop a kick throughout her career. Is it mm -hmm. strange that probably the third best 5,000 meter woman in the world right now is a world record holder? Yes, I'll agree with that. But if you look, like, like I, I brought up to you before, look at those IAAF scoring tables and you can take them for what it's worth. But the women's 5K, as it stands, was the worst of the distance records. 1,500, steeple, 10,000, marathon. There's just not a lot of people who are running 5K time trials in this setting before. So you put that all together and it's not, it's not surprising at all. But I just think we, we, we romanticize the past immensely. You know, we don't talk about how Roger Bannister got, had a pacer get lapped intentionally so he could pace him in the middle of the race. Right? We don't talk about that. We don't say that ruined the sport back in the 50s. But for some reason now, when we My continue to innovate, that, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Papa Shrike, who's uh, yeah. watching all the way from Springfield, Missouri. Um, we, we don't really leave any room for, for not just innovation, but the idea that, oh my goodness, could the women's world record in the 5,000 improve by five seconds over the course of, 14 years heavens no there must be something wrong with that like that's just it's kind of an absurd proposition like track and field was supposed to end the moment that Tiranish Dababa ran her 10k or track and field was supposed to end because we've reached peak performance when Bekele ran his 10k that's just not how human beings work now if she ran 1330 obviously there's a limit to where I would go on that but her knocking off a few seconds based on what she's done before, based on what we've seen women do in the 15, the steeple, the 10,000, and the mm. marathon is not, is not surprising. 